The emergency treatment unit is one of the most critical and one of the most busiest departments in any hospital. The emergency treatment unit takes care of patients uh, who cannot be managed in the outpatient department. This includes patients who uh, walk in themselves uh, and also patients who are transferred from other hospitals and also ambulance transfers. All emergency treatment units, the doctors, the nurses and the other assistants are well versed in managing emergencies. So to say uh, that the patients have to be categorized depending on the severity of their condition. So we have patients walking in with the simplest of complaints like a fever and then we have patients coming in with you know more severe conditions like a chest pain. To sum it up, the emergency treatment unit takes care of acute patient conditions is to ensure optimal patient condition. Hello, I'm Dr. Nadia. I'm one of the doctors in the emergency medicine department at Navaloka Nigambo. And today I'm just going to talk uh, in brief about the functions of the emergency treatment unit. So, uh, as we all know, the emergency treatment unit is one of the most critical and one of the most busiest departments in any hospital and uh, the same in Navaloka as well. So, uh, the emergency treatment unit takes care, takes care of patients uh, who cannot be managed in the outpatient department. Uh, that is to say that the emergency treatment unit handles patients who uh, come with conditions that are too severe to be managed in the outpatient department. So these, this includes patients who uh, walk in themselves uh, and also patients who are transferred from other hospitals and also ambulance transfers. So uh, moving on to talking about the uh, emergency team. The emergency team primarily consists of the doctor, uh, the nurses, and um, other healthcare assistants. And in all emergency treatment units, the doctor, the nurses, and the other assistants are well versed in managing emergencies. So the basic and the first function of the emergency team is to triage the patients, which is to say uh, that the patients have to be categorized depending on the severity of their condition. So we have patients walking in with the simplest of complaints like a fever and then we have patients coming in with you know more severe conditions like a chest pain. So uh, the initial assessment is done by the doctor and the nurses. So the patient is first attached to a monitor and depending on the patient's vital parameters we decide on whether the patient needs to be attended to immediately or whether you know the patient can be kept for some time. The, the emergency unit generally handles about 10 to 15 patients at one time. So depending on our triage, we categorize our patients and depending on this uh, prioritizing system, we tend to our patients in an orderly manner. So there are three types of patients coming to the emergency department. The first type uh, are patients coming with very simple complaints, like I said before, which could be just a simple fever. So these are patients who can actually uh, be attended to and then given medication and then discharged within a short amount of time. And then uh, we have patients coming with complaints that warrant a longer stay in the hospital. And then we have patients with more severe complaints uh, who require specialist referral. So depending on this, the doctor and the nurses, uh, we attend to our patients. And if they are in requirement of uh, ICU care, care or specialist referrals, uh, we do the needful. Comes to talking about the facilities available at the emergency treatment unit, we have the simplest of equipment, which is, uh, for example, a thermometer and then we have the most sophisticated of equipment as well like CPAP machines and uh, defibrillator machines. So depending on our patient's condition we use these machines and uh, we ensure optimal patient outcome. In the emergency unit we are able to do uh, we are able to obtain IV access, we are able to do peritoneal taps, we are able to do suturation, uh, suturing of uh, wounds and uh, we are also able to do a more advanced techniques like um, endotracheal tube intubation, airway insertions uh, and other more advanced procedures. So basically uh, the gist of it is that the function of the emergency treatment unit 
is to categorize the patient according to their conditions and to ensure optimal patient outcome. Uh, so in the emergency treatment unit, we first of all make sure that the patient is stable, in stable condition, and then we decide whether the patient is fit for discharge or whether the patient has to be referred on for further specialist management. To sum it up, the emergency treatment unit takes care of acute patient conditions. Our primary task is to ensure optimal patient condition. Thank you.